my God, you scored the goal. Everybody wanted you to score. This had to happen, right? It was, uh, it was coming. I should have scored the first one. Scotty Arfield reminded me as soon as I got in. Uh, yeah, I should have scored the first one, but like I said, the gaffer made, made, a, made a quick change. He put me higher up, dropped me in Didi, and it just arrived, and thankfully it's got in the net and put us on the way to three points. The way everything went with the near misses in the first half, for you guys to, to be, how bad did you need this result? Uh, yeah, we knew. We knew it was uh, the manager. The manager, got, manager said before the game, go and set a statement tonight. They're the, they're the so-called best team in this league. And even against 11 men, I thought we were we started unbelievably. We, we, were, we were on the front foot. We were the better team. And like I said, he's, we've, we've set a marker tonight. We've shown we can compete. It was The first half was tough. I've never been in a game like in my life. But uh, like I said, the show's the character. We stuck at it. And the fans were, I don't know, our fans are unbelievable. They stuck with us right until the last minute and, and they got the rewards. What was the message in that locker room in, in halftime? You know, it went up to minute 60, there's a penalty miss, there's a goal called off, a red card. What were you guys thinking during the half? It was just keep doing what we're doing. We stick at it. We had, uh, I thought the half time come at a good time. We, we, we regrouped, we got going, we changed a few things. Like I said, we, we stuck at it and playing against 10 men is hard. They, they sit in, they defend. So even the, even the best teams in the world struggle. But tonight we showed, we showed a different side of us. We showed a mature performance tonight. And like I said, we, we stuck to the last minute and got the win. Nice. And then the goals that you've had just for Charlotte in general have just been, you know, absolute bangers. Is that just a Westwood staple that we can expect? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I strike the ball well. I Even in the Premier League, I should have scored more goals. But it's not, it's not easy to score the goals. But thankfully, tonight we're in. And like I said, it's got us a massive win. Can you describe the walk up to that goal, the lead up to that? Uh, I just seen it. The lad cleared it. It's. I saw the keeper was. I don't know where the goalkeeper was. I saw. It. I was going to hit it first time, but luckily it fell. It was too high. Fell to my chest. I took a touch and they, they let it rip, and it's gone in. Hey, Westy. In the first half, it took a while to get the flow going. Obviously, with the false starts and just all the craziness that was going on with it. How did you? get with the team and kind of recuperate. I know you said at halftime you made the adjustments, but just during that first 60 minute half, what did you guys do on the pitch just to kind of work through that? It was like a, it's the most bizarre game first half I've ever been involved in. Uh, I was frustrated. I was extremely frustrated with, with certain things, which I'm not going to talk about. But we, we like I said, half time come, we stuck at it. We showed our maturity in the second half and we've got a huge win. Okay, guys, let's, let's go last, let's go last one right here. Winning, winning cup of tea tomorrow. It'll be more than that tonight. I'm going to enjoy with the cold one tonight. And then tomorrow it's back back to work. There you go. Okay.